Hey friends, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, today I am unboxing some stuff from Syndico. Um, I had a parcel arrive yesterday. It arrived at five o'clock on a Sunday, which is really, really weird. But hey, I had to wait overnight, which was really, really hard for me to do because I'm impatient so that I could film this video. I ordered a bunch of stuff from Japan about, I think two weeks ago. So it's actually got here really quick. Um, and I am very excited to open it up. I ordered this from a website called Sendico. I've mentioned it before in one of my previous videos. If you don't know what Sendico is, it's just a website that allows you to buy stuff from Japan through Yahoo Auctions, Macari, and a couple of other things like that. I tend to always use Macari because every time I do an auction, with the way they finish in my time, it's always like midnight, one o'clock in the morning. And I never tend to win, so I guess I'm just a bit cheap. But anyways, Macari I prefer because one, the inland shipping is included, and two, you get to see the price, how it is. Basically what you do is you put money into their website, then you place an order, you buy stuff through Yahoo Auctions or Macari and things like that. Um, they buy it for you, it gets sent to their warehouse, they then consolidate the package and send it to you. Um, I use DHL for my shipping, which once it got packed, it took four days from Japan. So I'm really excited, um, I'm a bit impatient, I wanna hurry up and open it up. I'll leave a link for Sendico in the description. But yeah, I'm gonna switch to the overhead camera now and we can open it up and have a look. Ooh. All right, so here she is. Um, first of all, sorry about my audio. I don't actually have an overhead camera set up properly yet. Um, sorry, overhead mic set up properly. So I'm just recording from a little microphone on my phone. So excuse me for that. But anyways, let's just get into it, okay? So first of all, this is the little invoice for it. Um, as you can see, what I've actually ordered is a Game Boy set, Game Boy, Game Boy, Game Boy, Game Boy set, Game Boy set, Game Soft. So there you go, that's it. I paid 24,533 yen. Um, that was roughly 320 Australian dollars. And then there was extra shipping on top, which was about 7,000 yen. Total cost of it was 412 Australian dollars. So that is how much I paid for all of this. I'm very excited. I've ordered from Sendico a few times before, but I've only ever filmed an unboxing video for it once. Okay. Okay, I'm excited. Um, get that out. Oh, more bubble wrap. Okay, we'll start with this one. So, all this is, I kind of forgot this is in here to be honest. I paid 600 yen for this. Oh, this is cool. So this is a game um, my brother used to have on Game Boy Advance. I played it a couple of times, it's pretty cool. It's called Kuru 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 Rin, I think that's how you say it. Um, I actually forgot about it until I was watching a Retro Future video like ages ago and um, I saw Elliot test it and I was like Wow, I forgot that existed and now I want it and I was just scrolling through Sendico and I actually saw this pop up boxed and everything um, The Japanese copy, but it doesn't matter because it's there's no dialogue in it, but look at this This actually looks like it's almost brand new like That's cool. It's not very like as I said it's it's a bit of a niche game. Um, if you know it, you know it. If not, yeah, but that's, oh man, I like I like that. And it came boxed too. So this was 600 yen. I think it's about like probably $10 for this. And it's, oh, it's even got, it's even got the booklet in it. So a lot of people are probably like, um, who cares? What are you talking about? But it's got the book. Look at that. That's awesome. All right, I'm not gonna, I've got a lot more stuff to unpack, so I'm not gonna just waste my time looking at that, even though that's cool. Um, look at the artwork, that's, stop. So here we have a DS. Now in the photo, this is the original DS as well. In the photo, it didn't look that great. Um, but it's, I don't think it's that bad to be honest. Like it looks like it was just really dirty. Okay, so it's definitely worn and it's very hard to open. So that's the thing as well. The screens looked really bad, but in the photo, oh, that's actually stuck. Stuck there, that's, oh, that's sticky. That's sticky. It's got screen protector on it. So it's probably actually really nice underneath that. That's in good condition. I hope that, that is a screen protector as well. I'm not gonna bother trying to take that off because that's gonna be a pain to get to. I wonder if it turns on. All right. So that's dead, but we could probably clean that up all right. Like it's gonna have the little wear around the top, but that's all right. Um, I know that these things are super fragile when you're working on them now, so you have to be really careful, but a black one, that's well, a 
charcoal gray, I think, charcoal color, yeah. It's cool. Um, all right, I'm, I bought that with a couple others. I honestly don't remember what bundles were what, but I thought they'd be packed all like together. Like this is packed together. So um, got another DS here. Okay, here we have a DS Lite, and this is in good condition. I mean, it's a bit dirty on the screen, but this is actually in really good condition. Um, again, it's probably just dead. It needs to be charged. Um, it's got the little pack. That's always rare, and it's got a stylus. Cool. Um, yeah, that's just just a simple little DS light. Um, yeah, needs a charge, but other than that, it looks like it could be sweet. Um, what else? All right, so these two came together, obviously. So these are just two Game Boy pockets. I believe I paid around, I think it was about 3,000 yen. Don't quote me. That was for the both of them. One. And two. Oh, that's right, they had screen burn. I forgot about that. Okay, so that's a pretty good screen burn. But other than that, look at the little stickers. Look at the stickers. It's got that one on there too. I wonder if there's any batteries. No batteries. No corrosion, which is always good. How about this one? No, no corrosion. I'll test them real quick. Maybe if that goes in correctly. Oh, it works. It's just got the screen burn on it is all. Look at that. That works good. I don't think this one's working too well. Oh, it does. There it is. Look at that. Works fine. Just got some screen burn. We'll replace the polarizer filter in that. But yeah, there you go. I think it was about 2,000 to 3,000 yen for these both, both of these. Screen burn, easy fix though. Moving on. There's so much. All right, here's just um, some UMD games. Uh, they just came with one of the bundles. Uh, Japanese games. Uh, I'm not gonna bother unboxing those. Just some UMD games. That's all good. Here's some more Game Boys. So we'll go to these ones. These are actually looking pretty good. Um, these, were, again, were bought as a bundle as well. I think they were about the same price as the other two, except they were listed as not working, but the screens work, obviously. So I was like, if for some reason I, these boards are dead, dead, then I can use the screens in the other ones. But they look pretty good. Let's have a look at if they work. I have a feeling like they do. The Game Boys are pretty indestructible. Look at that. That's listed as not working. It's just the contrast wheel's a bit, a bit dodgy. But that turned on straight away. Perfect. So, one thing that you gotta look out for when you're buying from Japan is a lot of stuff, I think they just have super high standards. So a lot of stuff is marked as junk. You see a lot of junk listings, but most times it's just dirty or scratch like this. Like these were listed as not working at all junk items and they work perfectly fine. I didn't even have to wiggle the switch or clean anything. Um, so there you go, two silver Game Boy Pockets. I may end up painting this one, which is cool. Um, haven't painted a Game Boy, would like to do that. So yeah, um, because this is really, really bad. So this is just a uh, PSP. I believe, I think everything I bought came with at least two things. I'm pretty sure this came with that Crimson Red DS Lite and I think it came with the, uh, the UMD games as well. So, again, listed as junk not working, but it probably is, just needs a charge, I assume. PSP batteries do not hold their charge at all. Um, the screws look like they've come out a bit. There is no battery, I don't think. Oh, there's a battery. Cool. Uh, I wonder if there's an SD card. There is not. There is no game in there. I'd like to test it to see if it works. and See if it turns on. It does not. I believe this has charge. Should do. Oh, that's been opened before, so there's probably some tampering that's going on here, but I'm sure even if we can't save it, there's a lot of spare parts in here. This came with a bundle, um, so I guarantee you that 
if I was to buy a replacement screen, that would cost more than that. So we can find something to do with this, use it as parts, hopefully repair it, because I always like repairing the PSPs. Um, yeah, that came with the uh, Crimson Red DS. What's this one? Oh, I have no clue what this is. If anyone knows, tell me. Um, because this, again, this came in the same bundle. Uh, it was the, oh, actually was it? I don't know. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was the, it wasn't the Crimson Red DS. It was the original DS. And with the UMD games and this. So if you know what this is, let me know. I think it's a TV tuner for a PS3. I don't know why you'd want that, but I, it just came with it. So look at that. What is this? I, honestly, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, if you know what this is, let me know. If not, ah, that's cool. I got another PSP here. Ah, this is a PSP 1000. And look at this, it's actually in pretty good condition. It's obviously been opened before. No warranty sticker. Yeah, PSP 1000, missing battery cover. That screw's loose, so that's concerning. Um, whack this in, see if it turns on. Is this battery dead? It might be dead. Okay, let me try it in a working PSP. This battery's dead. As I said, these do not hold their charge at all, so I'll have to test all these PSPs off camera because my battery's dead, so that's always fun. We can fix this up. A little PSP 1000, looks good. Hopefully it works, that's fine. What is this? Um, I actually don't know. I did not order a controller. <laughs> what is this? I am so confused. I have no clue where this has come from. It looks like just a PS2 controller, but like a funky aftermarket one. Oh, it's got a USB. Oh, it'd be a PS3 controller, wouldn't it? That is... What is this? I assume it's a PS3 controller. It's it's very... Or for a computer? Well, I did buy it. Well, look. This is clearly for a PS3. Um, so I assume this has probably come from the same person, but I did, this was not in the listing. I honestly have no clue what this is. Um, Alright, uh, yeah. Like, I guess PS3 controller. I'm not sure why this is in here. This looks super funky. I like it. And it's also probably double for a computer one as well. Cool, weird, but cool. Okay, this came together as one bundle as well. Oh, okay. These are the ones that came with the UMD games and that PS3 uh, TV tuner, I think it is. Yeah, so that's what this is. Let's have a look. So this is a PSP 1000, to, sorry, 2000, and a original DS and a DS Lite. Okay, we'll test the DS Lite first. Um, oh, it's a bit yellowed, which isn't actually a big deal, because I do have, um, I'm pretty sure I've got my old DS Lite, which was the same color. I'm pretty sure I've got the shell for that lying around. It's a bit dirty, but it's not actually yellowed. So if I can clean it up, that'd be all right. Um, it turns on. It died, okay. So it does turn on though. But it's just really dead. Um, that's not surprising. A lot of these things have probably been stored for so long. That's gross. So that's always good. Um, yeah, little DS Lite. Cool, cool, cool. We got the, oh, this is purple. I thought this was a silver one. It's like a purpley lavender color. Awesome. Um, I don't know why I'm trying to turn it on. They're obviously dead. Also, no battery. But that's fine. This is cool. Um, but it looks like a very light. I, I can't tell if you. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It looks like it's. Yeah, no, it's kind of showing up. It's like a purple color. I love that. Um, I did. I do know that they made a lavender a lavender PSP, so that's all right. A little one gig stick in there. Not too bad. Better than nothing. Cool. Um, I love that PSP two thousand. Sick. What else we got? DS Lite. Oh, DS Original. Sorry. Um, okay, that's dead as well. Um, the screws look a little scratched up, and obviously there's a little bit of wear. Uh, it's been used, it's been loved, but it looks pretty cool. This is what we've got last. So this is one big listing of six PSPs. Um, I like PSPs, if you can't tell. Nothing about this is rare or special, it's just they're cheap. So obviously when you buy a lot, it adds up, but that's kind of the whole point of Sendico. If you're buying just one or two things, it doesn't really work out for you. So I'll tell you what, I'll get the box out of here. Kind of smells like grandma's. So I believe half of these don't have working screens and I'd like to imagine the other half do. So, oh, all right. So that's a bit, 
She's been dropped a couple times. Tell you what, I'll grab a PSP charger so I can actually test these because I really want to see if they work. All right, we've got a good screen there. Um, the shell is not very good, but that's all right. That works. Um, no SD card, no game, but she works and good screen. It's important. On to the next one. See, this one's in pretty good condition. It just needs a good clean. Um, again, they, a lot of them don't have battery covers, um, and I imagine they don't have, yeah, no SD cards, no games, that's fine. Um, and let's see if this one works. Um, it's a bit of a dodgy contact in there, but I think it works. All right, so this one doesn't really want to work, but hey, this shell is good, and that one's not, and that one works. So we can make a good one out of all those. We'll move on to the white ones. Um, let's have a look. A little yellowed. That's all right. Let's plug her in, see if it works. Oh. I think the issue with a lot of them is, is that they just don't want to... The connection's not very good. So, uh, yeah, you can see it turns on. It's got a green light, but then it just turns straight back off. That's what the other black one does too. All right, moving on. They seem to be in all right condition, but they're not, like, the best. Um, the buttons are a bit yellowed, but that's okay. Probably uh, retrobrite those. Okay, so this one does turn on, but it's got a cracked screen. I can't. I don't know if you can tell. This one's got a screen protector on it. That's a really nice condition. That's right. I'm sure we can fix these ones. I think. I, th I think half the issue is just that the charge port doesn't have a good connection, in, and it probably just needs a good charge as well. But I do know that I think about half of them have cracked screens. Half of them don't. Oh yeah. So this one's got a cracked screen as well. So I think, yeah, as I said, about half of them have cracked screens, half of them don't, but that's okay. We can make a couple good ones out of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear up all the bubble wrap and unwrap all the little things I didn't unwrap and I'll put it all together and we'll have a look at how much is here. Um, stand by. All right, so here's everything all laid out. Um, not a bad haul, I reckon. So as I said, this all cost, including shipping, was about $412 and like 70 cents. Um, yeah, and out of that, we've gotten one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven PSP 1000s, two PSP 2000s, four Game Boy Pockets, two DS Originals, two DS Lights, a couple games, and miscellaneous accessories. So that's not bad at all, and I'm happy with this. I have to admit, I'm a little a little disappointed. This didn't look that, that discolored in the photo, but I'm sure we can fix it out, reshell, even just repair it, I don't know, something like that. Uh, so this is everything I got. So I'll switch over to the other camera and do my outro. There we go. Um, just like that. No, that's not what we're doing. Yeah, so that's everything I managed to get from Sendico. Um, if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description below. I'm very happy with the amount of stuff I've got. I will have a bit of work to do um, because those Game, Bo Game Boys will need cleaning and new screens uh, will need polarizing filter. Um, those, all those PSPs are going to need fiddling around with finding out what has faults, what doesn't, mixing around to try and get working stuff. And um, I think the DS lights are pretty much fine, except that, that green one might need a reshell or something because it's a bit discolored. And those original DSs, if I want to work on them to clean them up, I'll just have to be really careful because I know that they can be very, very fragile, especially because the plastic just gets super brittle. But yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed it and it was fun to do. Um, so if you like this type of thing, please like, subscribe and do all the things. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.